Hey guys, welcome back, Mainetric77 here, and today I'm going to show you how to trade Pokemon on various different versions of the Melon DS emulator. So I have three different versions of Melon DS emulator. I have the newest version right here, and uh, two other versions. That is because Melon DS has recently updated, so I want to show you on the newest version of course, and also uh, an older version considering that's the version that most people probably have. And so let me show you how to trade Pokemon on this version, the 0.9.3. All I have to do is open up the emulator, go to config, Wi-Fi settings, and then click bind socket to any address and randomize MAC address and put it in in direct mode. And make sure you also have limit frame rate and audio sync unchecked. And when you have those settings changed, you can just open up two different versions, or two, <laughs> sorry, two different windows, and open your ROM. And now you just, now you can just trade Pokemon, and works perfectly fine. Actually, uh, just did a trade here. So, if you're completely new to trading Pokemon, um, only Pokemon games of the same generation can trade. Just the fun fact, if you didn't know. In case you're wondering why you can't trade between, like, Platinum and Black and White. But I'm sure most of you knew this. One thing to also know is... The, it might be a little loud, since Melon DS is playing audio from both games at the same time. So it can't get pretty loud, so... <laughs> turn down your volume. And so now I can just exit, and I will show you how to trade on the other versions. Let me just go back and save the game. Uh, so that's uh, 0 0.9.3, and so then there's this version. 0.9.4 No matter what I do, I just can't seem to trade Pokemon in this version. So that's why that's why we're just gonna be skipping it because I don't think there's any way. I'm, I'm I mean I'm I'm pretty sure there is a ver there is a way, but uh, I'd rather just get the newest version, which is super nice. So in this version. The latest version of Melon DS emulator at the time, or when I'm recording this video, it is 0 0.9.5. And so, literally, you don't have to change any settings. So, I'm pretty sure you need these two settings unchecked. But if we go to Wi Fi settings, uh, you can see it's already in indirect mode. And if it isn't, I'm sure you just yeah, change it back. And as you can see, it actually labels the second window as two. And so now if I trade, it will work perfectly fine. What's also nice is now it's only playing the audio from the first game or the first window here. And <laughs> I just feel like that small little detail is really convenient. If you have it like at full volume, you can really get out of hand. And also, this new version I find is slower when it comes to trading. As you can see in the other, uh, in the other version, 
I was getting like 120 frames out of 60. This is only like around 90. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, this didn't save. <laughs> well, it's okay. I can trade the exact same Pokemon twice. <laughs> I uh, think I just somehow duplicated <laughs> the same Pokemon. Well, as you can see, it works perfectly fine. So, this is really useful for finally getting those trade evolutions that was... that seemed previously impossible. Well, my name is Manetric77, and I will see you 